Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got new from Spidgen2345. Hi Cap, love the videos. Please can you recreate Operation Praying Mantis that happened in 1988 when US vessels sunk multiple Iranian ships and platforms, I think. Here is a Wikipedia article. It's a really good article and there's several pages of information, about five or six pages. That's a bit too much for me to read out. So I will link this in the video description and you can go and read it if you want. To give a quick synopsis, what happened, at least to my understanding, was that the Iran-Iraq war when Iran realized that they were simply not going to win it because of their political stance and their lack of ability to get spare parts for their Tomcats and their F-4s and so on. They realized the only way they can beat Iraq was to starve them out, to cut off their, their, mo their money supply, their income. And the way they did that was destroying tankers that were coming from, I believe, Kuwait out of the Persian Gulf into the world, wider world. So the Iranians and their F-4 Tomcats were attacking oil tankers the Americans then came in, and not to pick sides per se, but just to protect the oil tankers, which were often neutral. These weren't necessarily Iraqi oil tankers. They were just taking Iraqi oil. And there were several engagements and pieces of history along with this. We're looking at Operation Praying Mantis. So the precursor to Praying Mantis was that Iran mined certain areas of the Persian Gulf. And one of the American protective vessels, the USS Samuel B. Roberts, struck a mine while deployed on the Persian Gulf. It was not sunk, but it was severely damaged. So as revenge and trying to put them off from doing it again, the US did a proactive strike, Operation Praymantis. It was massive. It contained one US aircraft carrier, plus aircraft, as we'll see in a bit, one amphibious transport dock, four destroyers, one guided missile cruiser, and three frigates. So the frigates were probably Oliver Hazard Perry class, the cruiser was probably Ticonderoga, and the destroyers, I don't know, I haven't covered that era of destroyers. Iranians, two frigates, one gunboat, six bog hammers, which are just cool, two F-4 Phantoms, and two platforms, oil platforms. Actual casualties and losses were one helicopter crashed and two killed on the US side. One frigate sunk with 45 men lost. One gunboat sunk with 11 men lost. Three spog hammers sunk. One frigate crippled. Two platforms destroyed. And one Air Force damaged. This here describes the actual actions of the battle itself. Now, most of the attack on the US side, I believe, was done by A6E intruders, which we don't have in DCS. So we're going to swap these out for some F-14B Tomcats. And we're going to see if we can replicate some of the damage done by the intruders. So here we have a map showing the geography of the action. And you can see it's spread out over hundreds of miles. So we've got a platform sunk there, Iranian platform sunk there, minefield there, minefield there. Uh, I think that was the frigate sunk there, bog hammers sunk there, uh, frigate hit there, and so on. Now, for us to do this in a 15-minute video is going to be impossible. So let's introduce you to what we've got, our version of it. Now, this is a camera-friendly, Hollywoodized version, but the units are roughly accurate. So the real conflict, as you know, was spaced around a kind of 250 by 100 mile corridor around here. But we've taken those units and squeezed them all together in the Strait of Oman. So we've got an unrealistically close fleet here of the USA. We've got the CVN-71, which is period accurate. We've got... A LHA, which is substituting 4A, amphibious transport dock, and it's programmed to do nothing, so it's just going to sit there and look a little bit like the amphibious transport dock. We've got three times Oliver Hazard Perry class FFGs, which are period accurate. We've got one times guided missile cruiser, a Ticonderoga class, which I'm pretty sure is period accurate, accurate as well. And we've got four times. USS Arleigh Burke. Now, this is a little modern for this fight. This was, I believe, commissioned in 1991, whereas this fight is 1988, but it's as close as we can get in DCS, so we'll just have to do. Let's go and have a look at the Iranian fleet, and all they had to fight with at the time was two times frigates. Now, we've substituted in the FFG Neutrashimi, thinking that it's going to be the most accurate that we can get. We don't have the actual frigates that they have. And we've got one times Molnir here, and this is as a gunboat slash corvette, which is going to be near enough. And we've got six times Boghammers here. They had 20 more cannons, and we've got half inches, but it's going to be 
as near as we can get. We've got two oil rigs, which we're going to be tasked with destroying today. Again, realistically, they were actually spaced out around the Gulf around here, but we've put them here so everything interacts. Now, the beauty of the Iranian side is because they own the land up here, they use the silkworms. The real threat to the fleet came not from these guys here, but the silkworms, and these were a real threat. So we've got a bunch of, H, I think it's HY2 versions I've got, stand to be corrected here, controlled by an elevated radar system, which has easily got the range to poke out and touch these guys here. They're only 40 miles away in closing. As well as that, Keshem here is going to have two times F4Es, which is going to launch and basically stay away from our fleet because they simply won't get near our fleet because of the defences. But they're going to try and stop us coming in with our aircraft to attack these oil rigs. And then myself and RC will play two times F14Bs. Now F14Bs were, I believe, not used or at least had no action per se in this Praying Mantis, but we're going to substitute them in for the A sixes other than that everything is just set to free fire so let's see what happens in our version of operation praying mantis okay the game has begun there's our seat oh you're already on a cap very nice and there is the rest of our fleet so we're gonna go and take off once the action starts uh -huh. and uh and drop some bombs forward Two wings out, flaps down. Dear valid viewers, we are waiting for the fighting to start. We're just reaching the tip of Oman there. Oh, I can actually see one of the uh, oil rigs about 40, 50 miles away. How interesting. The sun's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day in the Strait of Oman. One of our Ali Burks. Civilian tankers. Our wonderful fleet. The Iranian fleet. Bog hammers. Oh, missiles out, Aussie. Just ahead, one of our Ali Burks has started firing. No, one of our Oliver Hazard Perry's. No, that's a cruiser, actually. I think they're harpoons they were firing, actually. Yeah, harpoons out on the Iranian vessels. It's kicking off. Right, that's our cue to go, RC. Now the naval action started. Take off, head 293 to target, and let's see how we get on. Whoa. Oh, God. Spike. We, uh, we've got a bandit. 310, 52 miles. Turning 293. Oh, it's all kicking off already. 10 o'clock. There's a friendly two ship, Bra 135. Tally Iranian missiles. You see that? 11 o'clock. Yep. Jesus. Cap going air to air. Master arms on. We're going to have to go around them. We're going to have to go around them. Either go south or north of them. Well, unless you want to go through that hailstorm of crap. No, we're going south. What the firing has. Roger, let's get low and go through these canyons. Perfect. Yep. Get it to where, get ready to fight. There are F4s out there, remember? Alright. Our Ali Burks will take them down, don't you worry, RC. Can I have a couple of flares? I just need to see you. You're in front of me. 
Oh right, I'll go quite slow. You can come and uh, you can come and overtake me. Okay. Think rate's too high. We'll just take you through these canyons. They won't be able to see us. Right, that was a cool start. So it started with the uh, Ticonderoga launching harpoons. Once we had visual contact on the hostiles. Um, nails two o'clock. What's that? Okay. Uh, harpoons and a bunch of air to air missiles. They're still firing at each other, look. Okay, hostile air targets. Two to three o'clock. Times one. Angels one. Right, Tally you. F4 nails. Two o'clock. At 400 knots, magnetic heading 270, I think. Day mode, give me day mode. Can't look tight. Roger. Just don't get shot by Sam. Okay, try and visualize this free fleet so we can avoid it. Visual fleet, they're still firing missiles at each other. Okay, they're busy firing at each other. I don't think we have to worry too much. Right, we've got to find the oil rigs now. I'll oh, see, we've got to find the oil rigs. I did see them earlier, okay. and they had lights on, I noticed, so. Yeah, the fleet's just ignoring us. No vessels down yet. Yeah, but not for long. Not for long. We keep low, we keep flanking, I reckon we'll be okay. So, where do you think they are relationally? They were just behind the fleet by a few miles, I just put them there unrealistically to. It won't be too hard to find. Boom! Oh, look, the guns are going out. Oh, they're gunning each other. It's so cool. <laughs> Sorry. Nails 12 o'clock. That's just so frigging cool. I've got to watch. I've just got to watch. Oh, Jesus. Oh, on the nose. Oil rig. Right. Let's do this. Oh. Look out for F4s. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in through RC. Switch to air to ground. Cap, go to air to ground. I'm going in with Zoonies. Welcome. Cap rolling in. I see the other one as well, it's one o'clock. I see one right in front of me, and you said there's no one right there. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, poor looks. The F4s are. Yeah. Oh, shit. Air to air mode, Cap, air to air mode. Cap, air to air mode. Ah, uh, it's all kicking off now. Three one five, seventeen miles. Okay, they're coming. I'll see they're coming. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna fire a Phoenix up on this guy. Target, thirteen miles. Fox Cap is Fox three, and the boats are firing at us. Oh sugar, hang on. And Fox two. Which Cap two, Fox two. three times one. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, which one? This time he's just going to fire us. Okay, he's flanking right. Can you take care of this close one? I'm going to go for the other one. Yep. Okay, I'm going to disengage and look for the other guy. Oh, shit. Okay, it's going to be visual combat. Keep an eye out for him. Come on, baby. Yeah. He's going to be dead. He's going to be dead. Target. Disengage. Splash. Splash. Two splashes. I think. Yep, we got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Wait, do we get... One more, is there one more out there? Yeah, oh yeah. No can do. Okay, I can't find any. I can't find him. He's not a data link. Phantom, one o'clock. One o'clock. Three miles. Three miles. Get ready for merge. Twelve o'clock. Got him. Missiles, missiles, missiles. Missiles, missiles, missiles. Whoa! Map merge. Gunfight. You get it? Above. No. We merge. Oh, I see. Is he flaring or are you flaring? He, I, we both are. We've both gone high. I've gotten the rollover first. I should get a shot up. Cap tallying. Okay, that's you. I see you. Missile, Fox 2. Splash, Cap. Woo! See you, buddy. He's going down. Right, that's all of them according to the role play. Air to air, just watch out for Sam's. Uh, sorry, air to ground. Ooh, that was fun. Um, air to ground. Uh, select weapon. Roger. Cap rolling in. 
from the yeah. west. Which one are you going for? I don't know, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit all over the place now. I'm going for what I think is the northern one. one. For the north one. Oh, then I'm going for the southern one. Okay, the fleets are still fighting. The guns are still going, man. That's so awesome. Oh, the fleets are right next to each other now. Uh, both inflicting damage. Okay. That is... Stores rockets. We All do the zoomies. So frequently. Yeah, I know. Damage, but it's not dead. Going around for bombs. Wait, which one did you get? Okay, fleet still leaving us alone, which is nice. Missile, eleven o'clock. Break right. Got some Mark eighty fours going in. Yeah, and zero damage, that's a pain in the butt. You yeah, don't see even where you're hitting. Running in Northern Oreg. Come on, baby. Yeah, Got a damn job to do. Okay, here we go. Missile, four o'clock. Break left. Missile, 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 four o'clock. Break left. Missile, four o'clock. Break left. What do you want to do? Cap is stores. Mark 84, that should do the trick, I'll see. It's no damage. What the hell is the matter with these things? I just went a Mark 84 2000 pounder on it. This must be invincible or something going around. Well, I mean, that should be simulated. It's not it should be simulated as dead. Go for the other one, I'll see. I get the feeling the damage is bugged at the moment. Yep. My, Mark 82 would destroy, atomize that thing. Right, go for the southern thing. Yeah, I've been going for it. Yeah, you just need one bomb in there to catch the oil on fire. Good. Such a powerful bomb, it would just rip it to pieces anyway. Alright. Running in south, southern. Oh. Fleet is still engaging. I am. Running in 600 knots from the north. Going round the club. Oh. Times two. I'll do the trick, I'll see. Any joy? Oh, I killed it. Oh, well done. Oh, well, let's go back and try killing the other one then. And it says you killed the other one, so. Are they both dead? Okay. For yep. some reason, the damage bottle's gone funny. Right, let's head back, I'll see. I'm going to go via quite close yeah. to the. Um, Quite close to the fleet because I want to have to see if they're still fighting. I'm amazed I can't see any smokestacks out there, which means no one's really damaged each other yet. I can see missile trails still. Someone's going to run our missiles soon. Okay, I see it. There's the yeah. frigates. They're right here. Roger. I think the bolt hammers have gone. Here we go again. Missile, 12 o'clock. Break right. Missile, 12 o'clock. Hot. Break left. Missile, 12 o'clock. Hot. Break left. Yeah, the bog hammers are all dead. The two frigates are up. Oh, I can see the Gatling gun of the uh, the uh, the patrol boat going. The Corvette. That's awesome. Missile. Twelve o'clock. Hot. Break right. How do you feel about Missile. a cheeky little attack? Have you got any bombs left? Hot. Break left. Correction. Yep. Break right. We've got dirt. One o'clock. And Just dirt, 12 o'clock. I, I think and they're so dirt, distracted, I can get a Mark 84 on them, guys. <laughs> you are, you are TB. You'd be safe. You'd be safe in RTB. I'm going to give it a shot. It's going so well. What could go wrong now? He's so distracted, look. He's just firing constantly at the, at the bombs. At the uh, harpoons. Oh, yes. Gun for this. They're doing gun action. Look at that. Ba, 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 ba. It's getting pasted by the 76 millers. Oh, careful cut. He is getting roasted, I'll say. Roasted. Bless his little cotton socks. Look at that. Can't believe they got him gun out. The problem is, those frigates are good and they neutralize all the. Oh, shit! I got shot! I'll see how. Oh, shit! <laughs> how did that no. even happen? Okay, I'm gonna try and glide back to uh, Oman. Why are the things like that? Where are we landing, by Magnitude the way? Jettison. Are we landing in Oman? Okay, I found a little oh, island yeah, to land barrier. on. I don't care, RC! I'm trying to get this little island. Hot. 
Quick one. All right, I'll land on Elm One then. Okay, what do we got in the bag? Three fifty knots. I reckon we can get to Omar. I Guess reckon we get to Omar. Guess they were enough. This has got like a ten to one glide ratio. This thing, it's fine. Right, I need to dump fuel. Dump fuel. Dump fuel. Why does Oman have to be so rocky? Okay, I'm out. I'm all out of airspeed. I see. I'm going in. Oh no! Restart. Oh, no. I've lost manual reversion. I've Air start. Missile, 8 o'clock. Break right! Nope. I've tried the flaps. I've lost all control of the bird. What the hell is going on? Missile, 8 o'clock. Oh, I'm punching. Break right! I'll see you in hell, RC. I'm gonna try and get on land. Woohoo! Super cat! That's survivable. Ooh. That's survivable. And look, we're still pummeling them with harpoons. And they're still. Oh, yeah! One of the ships is dead. This is awesome. What an awesome fight. Oh, we're absolutely mullering them, RC. Now we've got their cannon. Our cannon's in there. There's nothing they can do to defend. The bog hammers are amazingly still alive, which is rather frustrating. They are? Mm-hmm. Dead. Oh, we're inflicting... They're inflicting damage on us now. They're bombarding our one of our... No, they're going for our cruiser. Being the most powerful vessel. Pounding our Ticonderoga. Oh no! Ticonderoga's going down! No. This is Quabble. These kind of yeah, radiant, radiant vessels are so good. Ships. Yeah, what's going on? No! The Americans watching this are not going to be happy. Oh, hang on, we've taken out theirs. They're on fire. They are one time's engulfed in flames. Who's firing? Who's firing? Switch. God, they're such a bad fleet. Switch to the goddamn threatening vessel. Oh, the silkworms are going up. The silk silkworms are. We're shooting the silkworms down. Okay, we're after the Corvette now. No, we're not. Corvette is mullering. Look at that Corvette go. Jesus. It stopped for some reason. Okay, we're attacking the Corvette. Oh, in the face. Corvette's on fire. Yes, oh, baby! Woo! He's been over. Oh, a harpoon just hit him in the face. His bridge is gone. He's still firing. Silkworms are coming in. He's going out. He's, he's going out fighting. Another US vessel is damaged. Now my internet just went down. Oh no. Oh no, they've lost another Iranian frigate. Oh, finally he's dead. Oh, he is one. Still firing. Still shooting harpoons down. He's got spirit, guys. He has got spirit. That's something we can never take away from him. He didn't use his sunburns, look. His sunburns were there, but he never used them. Sunburn, you know what I mean.
bog hammers are like, what? Someone's fighting? Everything's destroyed apart from the bog hammers, and it doesn't look like the blues are going to even bother engaging the bog hammers. The blues did get overwhelmed because the reds forced a gun's engagement by shooting down all of the harpoons, which is awesome. And an Arley Burke here has been seriously damaged. I mean, look at that. There's one damaged Arley Burke. I'd be amazed if she makes it to port. Oh, and another damage over there. Another damage there. We've lost a, We've lost an Oliver has a Perry altogether. So one and a half vessels sunk, which is amazing. I really didn't think that would happen. One Tomcat was lost due to pilot stupidity, and the other went and landed. Oh, the Boghammer's Roscoe Mike now. Look at this. What's going on now? They're like, Boghammer going to run into a little island and hide. Boghammer don't need sea. Boghammer like land. Oh, in the face. Boghammers were notor notoriously stupid in the 80s. Right, that's the end of the engagement. I found that thoroughly enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye.